The Remparts will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Prince George has got possession of the puck. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Grabs it in his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, what a save in front! Hammers one, and he's got that one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Quebec's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Thought he had enough room to sneak past the defender against the wall, but tied up there. Yeah, he didn't have enough space to be able to push it by and get to it first, and a nice play by the defender. And they send it right back to him. Trucho's moving the puck through his own zone. Quebec's gained the line and into the zone. And that's a great hits up play by Sampson. The Cougars pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Slides the pass over to Trushall. Prince George has got the puck inside the defensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Prince George has got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Langlois. And that's blocked in traffic. Quebec's got the puck against the boards. Quick feed to Godet. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Taken along the wall by Dalhania. Into the attacking area from the left side. Fires it on net. Big save in front. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a... Oh, buckle up, they're dropping the mitts. Well, the jury is out as to whether it was clean or not, but his team didn't like it, and they're responding right now by dropping the gloves. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. The Cougars playing very aggressive, that fight right there, just showing that they're sending a message, trying to gain some energy, silence the crowd, and really dictate the play. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. Well, the youngster has shown at times that he can be a bright lights player. And in this moment, what's the coach saying here to the kid? Now, the coach is saying one thing. We don't need any fancy toe drags right now. Rookie, you make sure that you're smart with the puck and use your brain. Prince George has been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score. And they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Puck is dropped and play resumes. The Remparts have it now. And he slides it quickly to Wah. The Remparts work it through center. Drills him. And that play is neutralized. The Remparts have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Bull Duke's got it now deep inside his own end. To the low slot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, wow! Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Lots of time left in this period. It's been demolition derby night. Four nothing is where we sit. The Cougars played along the boards. Defensive zone. LaVoie's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Sends the pass down low. And now he moves it quickly to Komarov. 
And let's see what the call is. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving. And when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Seven minutes, 17 seconds. Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Quebec's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And here's a pass to Nasher. Quick shot! There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Nasher's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting, and it's certainly appreciated to have a physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it, but man, you gotta find a way to generate offense, and the only way you can is when you're on the ice. Well, you know it's a physical game, and you gotta be aggressive, but when you're over-aggressive and you're laying it on like that, you're gonna get the boarding called along the wall. Quebec's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. The Cougars win it in the defensive zone. Great face-off win by the center. Now they can get out of their zone and get a change. Slides it quickly to Melatesta. The Remparts are going to need to regroup if they want to get back in this game. James are halfway through it. There's still plenty of time left. They have to do much better than they started in the first half. Funk's got it in the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The 360 with the puck. Miller's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Officials are set, players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Quebec's got the win off that draw. And that goes off the side of the frame. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Well, something was said they didn't like. Yeah, running their mouths, and now they're fighting, and you gotta figure something was said that they didn't like. And that'll do it after that one. Gotta know who you're fighting, and he landed a perfect one right there and took him down. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. Prince George has got it in their own zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. And that's broken up. Played big in the moment there. That knocks him off the puck. The Cougars will play it in their own end. Quebec's got the puck along the wall. Delayed penalty looming. Oh, they didn't like that hit. Here we go. They didn't like it, James. They didn't like it at all. And now they're standing tall and say, hey, if you're going to have your way with us, you're going to answer for it. And ding, ding, it's all over. Yeah, the bell has rung, and he certainly got his dung. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. So much time available for the power play on this five minute major. You have to move the puck around. You have to move the coverage outside of the middle, but you have to be urgent. You want to take advantage. No one's getting out of the box. The Cougars move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Tonight as the final few seconds tick away, they are letting this 
Does Team Havoc. Takes a shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. You know, if you go back to that point in the game, and I love how our broadcast team catches this stuff, but you saw on the bench the coach going after the rookie and just kind of challenging him. I, I just don't know if the kid ever got a chance to really show what he could do or show how he could respond. The game, the way the tempo and the flow went, it just never presented itself right there. Anyway, that's why I just wanted to mention that as well. All right, still to come here on the show, we'll check in with our own Ray Ferro and get his thoughts. Well, this should be an absolute firecracker of a game tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back to EA Sports. The Cougars get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Broken up by Barrels. He carries the puck up along the wing. Prince George has got the puck. And he loses control here. The Cougars play it along the wing. Cuts it away in his own end. Quick pass to Seminoff. Here's a shot. It's scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Moves it quickly over to Samson. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. Prince George has got the puck. And he takes the pass. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. And loses possession after a solid hit. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Shot! Long jam in front, that's broken up. 
And he had the answer on that play. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Moves inside! How did he stop that one? They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Stay Coleman's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Trying to shake the defender. He's in the clear. Great save. The Blazers move it ahead. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass to O'Brien. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Moves it to O'Brien. Let's see what the officials are calling. O'Brien's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Face off, and it's a five-on-three-man advantage, but they don't have much time to work with it. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. Prince George has won the face-off deep in their own end. Barrows moves the puck. From the open ice, they gain the line. Here's a shot. What a save. Oh, he'll feel that one. And that's deflected. From the left side, they gain the zone. And he takes the feed. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Let's it go. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. And the home side is nervous. Look at this pressure here in the offensive end. And the D come up with it in their own end. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. The Blazers have put themselves in the enviable position of playing with the lead, Cheryl. Uh, you always rather be ahead, wouldn't you? It's the best place to be, but you want to extend that lead. You want to have a, an ability to play a little more comfortable, James. You got to stay aggressive, you got to manage the puck, and you got to look to attack the net. Cam Lutz has been the more active team offensively tonight, and they lead it early in the second. Still a lot of hockey left in this one as period number two gets underway. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Prince George has been running around and chasing the game, look very disorganized out there, not aggressive, and giving their opponent way too much time with the puck. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James, and you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they push their opponent... Give me a sense of what's being said right now on the bench right now by the head coach to the young rookie. Well, I think the coach is trying to settle the bench down, and it's interesting to go to one of the youngest players on your team, a young rookie, and say, listen, let's mentally reset, stay focused. We need you right now. I also think it sends a great message to the veterans in the group. Let's pick it up. The Blazers have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Picked up along the wall by Thornton. Takes the feed. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Play is blown dead with the offside. Lots of time left in this period. The Blazers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Cam Loops tries to break out from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Hofer. Takes the feet at the back end. Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. Cam Lutz has generated a lot of offense here early in this second period, and a big reason why they lead. 
The Blazers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. The Cougars get a hold of the puck off the draw. To the front! Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Barrels. The Blazers are dominating play, and in my opinion, James, this all starts your work away from the puck. When you close quickly, you retrieve it first. They've done an excellent job of that, and it's gone the other way, and they've cashed in. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. And that goes off the glove, and it stays out. They are really dialed in here tonight. zone trying to pad their stats and increase their lead the puck has been on their stick all night long this one goes off the post it's a tough one you can see the frustration there every shooter wants to score we got a penalty coming up here quick whistle stops the play the game is getting out of hand you're down by a bunch you take another penalty you got to find a way to just reset your composure George has got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Denies it in front. Finds some space in the corner. Off the post. The Cougars are looking for some much needed offense and they get it. They get a great look and it just goes off the post. You can see the frustration in the entire bench. You have to capitalize if they want to way back in this game. Through pass ahead. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Kamloops has it in the defensive end. Gets it out of his own end. The Cougars will get some fresh legs out on the ice on this man advantage here. The Blazers are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. Kamloops takes possession off the draw. Quick shot! Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Kamloops has about a half a period to go here as they lead it in this third period. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. The Cougars will play it from the defensive zone. Kamloops takes possession along the wall. Oh, a direct hit on the play! Oh, oh. Well, the other team, they should be here in footsteps, James, because he's been doing it all night long. I mean, it is intentful, but it's clean. He's been throwing down the hits all game long. And they score! The pylon continues, Cheryl. Oh, it is ugly, and there's nothing worse than the score than having your own crowd just give way on you. They are not happy. You can hear the booing tonight in this building. Just a tough game all the way around. I think they screamed uncle about two of these ago. Slides up ahead for the right wing. Big play inside the defensive zone. 
protect him, but one save up. Scores! And that's three! It's a hat trick here on the road! Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. The Blazers continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, in all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James, have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, and they're creating all over the ice. It's been real fun to watch. But it'll always be a call. If you extend your arms and cross check, you're serving too. Kamlitz has put on an offensive clinic here tonight, and they are on cruise control here in the third. The Blazers take possession here inside the offensive zone. in a game that we don't even see and you know that they've exchanged words throughout the course of this game and they're finishing it off with a battle. And there's the winning blow. Did he ever connect on that one, James? And now look at him on the ice. He's laboring to get up. The Cougars clearly win that fight, and now they have to build on the momentum that it's created. You can play physical, you can play fast, but what you do after a fight is really important. The Blazers have been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it here late in this third period. the time where you've kind of run out of lifelines, right? Has he had some off games? Yeah, I would say there's another level to his game to get back up to that we've seen from earlier in the regular season that we haven't seen so far at the Memorial Cup. But there's no room for... Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, and welcome to EA Sports' continuing coverage of the Memorial Cup. Game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Peterborough's in transition. Oh, he caught him. Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. The Cougars pick up steam and are on the attack. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. And he moves it up to Robertson. Puck exits the zone. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Prince George has got a hold of the puck off the draw. Samson's got it in the defensive end. Battle along the boards. 
Robinson's working it around in the corner. And he takes the feed. Only got a piece of it to keep it out. Brennan's made a great save there, and it's really important to reset after a blowout. I mean, here in the playoffs, every game is important. It's important to get a great start, and he does just that. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, you could feel that from up here. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still no score in this one. Robertson's one possession. Peterborough's looking to break out of their own end. The Peets take it across the blue line. Sends a pass over. Sensational stop by Brennan. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Shot! With the stop. Handles the pass from the right side. Sends the pass over. Tremendous save by Simpson. Quick shot! Turns it away. Peterborough's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Handles the pass. Second period set to get underway. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Brennan's been so dialed in right from puck drop, James, and it's a good thing he has been because he's faced a ton of rubber. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. White's going to play it against the half wall. Bodies everywhere, complete chaos, multiple calls on the play, and the team is certainly going to be behind the eight ball as they have to kill a few off. Centers glide into the face-off dot, and a huge five-on-three power play looms. Bank pass off the boards. Shot! Oh, comes up with a stop. Peterborough's got the puck in their own end. The Peets are on the attack. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And we've got a fight. Yeah, the physical engagement here has been off the charts, and the discipline has to maintain itself, but a good toe-to-toe -to -toe fight sends a message. And drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed and a tough one on the other end. The Peets have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Prince George has got possession here in their own end. And somehow he hangs on. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Quick feed to Hayes. The Peets take it along the wall. Walker saving a good one by Brennan. Drives it to the crease. Oh, solid save by Brennan. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Quick pass to Robertson. Centering team. nobody's hurt here seriously yeah that's tough to watch especially taking that last punch it was decisive and he went down hard you try to get your team going sometimes the fight is what happens and this is exactly it but the winner is going to the home team
Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. The Cougars take possession in the defensive end. The Peets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a chance! Denies them in close. Prince George has got it in their own zone. The Peets gain control of the puck. The Cougars get a hold of it. Grabs the puck. Slick feed. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Tries to feed it over to Avon. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra. And they're going to dance off here. one right there and took him down. They make their way over to the penalty box, still chirping one another. You can see that it was testy out there, but they'll go back to the box and they'll sit for five. Practices, those minor hockey games, it's all paid off as he picks up his first shutout. Yeah, and the playoffs to boot, James. I, I mean, drink. Now, despite the fact that they're going home as a team, I'll tell you what, I would think scouts were left with a pretty favorable impression with the one guy they came here to see. There were lots of people discussing in and around this tournament what the draft eligible would be like. Like, how do they play the mark against older kids in a big game setting? And he acquitted himself really well. Oh, I mean, there's so zero cool. chance that the scouts of various teams that are going to draft around his area aren't interested in him. He had a good tournament. Yeah, no, it certainly saw his stock go up big, big time. Uh, let's take a quick break here on the show. More with Ray Ferraro. Again, you look at these lists, these draft lists, these scouting lists, they're subjective, you know? And I still think that he is going to be a great player in the National Hockey League. You know, whether his stock took a little hit here, whatever. You know, it's an off week, a couple of off games. The amount of times that I have seen him play all season long. And you know what, boys and girls? You know I've called a few of his games. I'm telling you, the body of work that I've seen, he's going to be a legit player in this league. A le you know, and to me, I, I look at these draft rankings, and this is total recency bias. I mean, case in point, look at the kid. You know, did he have a somewhat of a flat Memorial Cup performance? Yes. Yeah, I'll give you that. But for his draft stock and his draft ranking to take a hit as a result of that, I don't know. I wouldn't go down that road. Looking at the body of work and how many times I've seen him play over the course of the season, I'll tell you what, if he's going to fall, it's going to be a steal. It's going to be an absolute steal, and I think some teams that ultimately pass on him are ultimately going to regret that decision in years to come. He's going to be a legit player in the National Hockey League, personally speaking. 
Back to the phones we go. Let's go to Max on line three. Hi, Max. And the former first overall pick will join us a little later on here in the show and share some of his draft memories. Now, from what I'm hearing coming out of the combine, the Minnesota Wild had a fairly lengthy interview with the youngster uh, at the combine. So the wild suddenly coming into play on this one, which is very intriguing in my eyes as to how he could potentially fit on this roster in that sort of transition with this team between the old and the new. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Uh, with more on their thoughts on this, we head to... When you look over the weekend and some of the news and notes that comes out and another story that I had heard about was that the Winnipeg Jets were said to have a fairly significant interview with the kids. So when you look at draft need and positional depth for the Winnipeg Jets, this could be a fit, at least on paper. So we'll see how things potentially play out here. But the Jets are another team that have now kind of come into the discussion that are said to be interested. So. We'll see how it all kind of works out going forward on that. Uh, some of the other scenarios that we heard elsewhere around the league. You know, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for uh, a late selection in the draft, and if you want to find kind of a diamond in the rough, I'm going back to this kid. And, and I would jump all over him. I think his stock obviously took a hit, but he was talked about, he was hyped up for a reason. There are abilities to this kid that if you could let him do it. 